guys in today's video we will be looking at the confrontation of cultures which is part of our gs series gs1 series okay in this chapter we will be mainly looking at how the europeans uh, found america and uh, uh, american continents the west indies all this part of the world okay uh, the first to do this the spanish and the portuguese they persuaded the pope pope was a also at that time a political figure and also a religious figure so he persu they persuaded him to give the exclusive right to rule over many new regions they might locate okay christopher no uh, columbus an italian he was sponsored by the rulers of spain and he sailed west in 1492 and thought that the lands he reached were indies or india but he reached west indies okay later exploration indicated the indians of the new world actually belonged to different culture groups and were not part of asia two types of cultures were found in americas there were small subsistence economies in the caribbean region and in brazil okay there are uh, main cultural groups like aztecs mayas of central asia and the incas of peru in central america incas of peru also had monumental architecture these were actually developed civilizations but the europeans thought themselves as uh, superior okay it was also marked by the beginning marked by the beginning of the slave trade with the europeans selling slaves from africa to work in the plantations and mines in america okay Uh, we will start communities and the caribbean of the caribbean and brazil so uh, before the coming of europeans there were mainly the araucan layos okay they uh, lived in a cluster of hundreds of small uh, small islands in the caribbean sea uh, today known as bahamas and the greater antilles okay they had been expelled from the lesser antilles by the caribs caribs were actually war mongers or war Uh, they were aggressive tribe a fierce tribe in contrast to them the arawaks were a people who preferred negotiation to conflict skilled they were skilled boat builders they sailed the open sea in dugout cannons okay they lived on, lived on hunting fishing agriculture growing corn they naturally depended on the forest for their survival and a cultural value was the organization of people to produce food collectively and to feed everyone in the community the arawaks were animists that means they worshiped the animal spirits or they worshiped nature we can say okay as in many of the societies shamans played an important role as healers they were wizards okay and they created a link between the world and that of the supernatural see before going to different empires we will look at the map and their locations first is the aztec aztec empire is over here tenochtitlan was the capital uh, okay then we have maya culture i don't know the correct pronunciation it is tenochtitlan we can say okay Uh, then we have maya culture over here another important culture in the uh, american region we have the inca culture inca empire of over here cusco is the capital okay going down uh, see there is an interesting fact okay over here the arawaks used gold for ornaments but did not attach the value to the metal that the europeans did okay they were quite happy to exchange gold for glass beads brought by europeans why because they see they seem to be much more beautiful art of weaving was highly developed hammock was one of their specialties and uh, one which captured the imagination of the europeans okay these were uh, nature loving people they survived mainly on uh, nature so when the europeans came and asked about they were obviously jealous of their society which was not under which was not under there there was happy freedom with no king army church to regulate their lives okay and when asked they say, they said like even though we die they don't, they can ha die happily because they know that the forest and the nature will provide for them okay that was their concept of life simple simple people uh, then you will look at the aztecs aztecs okay aztecs were they migrated from the north into the central valley of mexico they expanded their empire by defeating different tribes okay and they were forced to pay tributes this is the aztec empire area okay looking going down we have the hereditary nobility was a small minority who occupied the senior positions of the government the nobles chose from among them a supreme leader who ruled until his death the king was re regarded as a representative of sun on earth okay they worshiped the sun we can say warriors priests nobles and most were the most respected groups but traders also enjoyed many privileges often served the government as ambassadors and spies talented artisans and physicians and wise teachers were also respected okay now this is an uh, we can say a ball court marker with inscribed dates of mayan culture okay and going down we can see 
then we have empire rested on a rural base people cultivated corn beans squash pumpkins manioc crop potato all these things were cultivated okay and peasants like european serfs were attached to lands owned by the nobility and cultivated them in exchange for the part of an harvest okay aztecs made sure that all children went to school okay it was like kind of like a social structure in which it was the children went to school boys were trained received military training as well as training in agriculture and trade and the uh, girls were trained in domestic skills okay that was their kind of life then we have the mayas okay mayas this is the maya temple tikal gontamela gontamela uh, is an area in 8th century see this is like kind of like pyramid on top of it there is a structure it is said that there were sacrifices that were held if you have seen the movie predator there is an area like this Uh, okay all these things are there maya maya culture of mexico developed remarkably between the 11th and the 14th centuries but in the 16th century they had less political power than the aztecs okay here also corn was the main cultivation many religious ceremonies were centered on the planting growing and harvesting of corn okay then uh, efficient agriculture production generated surplus which helped the ruling classes priests chiefs invest in architecture and development of astronomy and Uh, mathematics uh, before that we will look into the map of maya mayan culture is over here this is the area of mayan culture okay just to keep in mind we'll go via the map then we have incas incas of peru incas of peru largest indigenous group or civilization in the uh, south america was the conchas or incas of peru in the 12th century Moco Pact established. These are not actually important for you. Basically, just we are we are looking at how the Europeans became or started colonizing the world. That process, that thought process, is what we are exploring in the even in the previous two chapters also. Okay, uh, do see those videos. We will understand how the society was changing. Okay, empire em, the empire was highly centralized with the king representing the highest source of authority. Okay, even newly conquered uh, conquered tribes. were absorbed in effectively every subject was required to speak quencha the language of the court all these things were there okay like as the text the incas too were magnificent builders they built roads through the mountains from ecuador ecuador to chile their forts were built of stone slabs uh, perfectly without the requirement of mortar they used labor intensive technology to curve them and move stones from the nearby rock falls okay on the basis of inca civilization was agriculture to cope with the infertile soil conditions they terraced hillsides and developed systems of drainage and irrigations okay their weaving pottery were at high quality okay they did not develop a system of writing however there was an accounting system in place quipu or codes upon which notes were made to indicate specific mathematical units okay that was about incas i'll show you the map of incas Inca Empire is over here. Okay, Inca Empire, mainly in Peru region. And now we are looking at how the Europeans started colonizing. See, these are the Spanish lands. And when we go over here, we have the Dutch in the violet color. Now we have in the Portuguese in the orange color. All these places were dominated by the European powers. the south of this small area belong to the french okay now voyages or exploration of europeans okay uh, you can say the scientific course maybe the magnetic compass was invented and which it helped to venture on voyages to the unknown areas and uh, there were also literally work like ptolemy's geography which inspired many people it said about three continents europe asia africa but Uh, Ptolemy had he had suggested the world to be a sphere, and he also he underestimated the width of oceans. Okay, uh, and the Europeans no, had no idea of it. Okay, and the mainly the Portuguese and the Spanish of the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, they were you know they were uh, they always wanted to go out. They wanted to explore. Okay, uh, they were inspired by the um, the travels by. earlier uh, travelers like magellan uh, all these people inspired them okay but what was the main reason which uh, 
which uh, why the Europeans wanted to go to uh, this see this uh, areas unknown areas because see at that time we have seen the plague Balbonic plague in the previous videos we have seen Balbonic plague had led to the depopulation in many parts of Europe trade grew slack okay there was an economic depression and the situation was a stark contrast to the preceding period when growing trade okay, trade okay uh, there was a trade decline because the Turks Turks conquered the Constantinople uh, constant Turks conquer, conquered the Constantinople and the Italians managed to do business although they managed to do business they were now required to pay higher taxes so Turks were actually Muslims and uh, it, there was a difference in that and before that Constantinople or Byzantine which was a Christian country it was actually easier for the Europeans to do trade with them okay so they thought if they brought many people under Christianity it will be very easy for them to do trade okay as it happened the Crusades happened which again which was against the Turks began as a religious war but they increased Europe's trade with Asia and created a taste for the products of Asia especially spices if trade could be followed on a pontifical or a, on a political control okay political control the European countries establishing colonies in regions with warmer, warmer climate they could benefit further okay uh, the Crusades the reconquest all these things inspired them to what to do to capture more areas under them so these contracts the Spanish ruler claimed rights for the sovereignty of the newly conquered territories the reconquest happened in the Spain mainland okay Spain was uh, before that uh, it was conquered by Muslims after that the Christians on the northern side they conquered back all their areas and uh, we can say they eliminated any traces of Muslim or Islamic religion from that area so that kind of inspired them and the Crusades also inspired them to go into better voyages to bring more people under Christianity all these things were happened okay now we have Columbus coming into picture Columbus Columbus uh, he read he was reading about Imago Mundi by Cardinal Perry Ali uh, then uh, he submitted his plan to the Portuguese crown but they turned him down okay uh, but the Spanish authorities sanctioned him to go okay uh, with a small fleet what was in the fleet there was a small novo called Santa Maria and two caravels uh, named Pinta and Nina Columbus himself commanded Santa Maria and they sailed for 33 days uh, and they could see only water and they sighted land finally and reached reached where reached uh, he thought it was India but which is an island of Guahani in Bahamas okay they were welcomed by Arawaks see Arawaks were pure people we can say simple people okay uh, they were happy to share their food and provisions I'm going to read this part okay because it is really uh, disappointing in the way the Europeans responded to this kind people okay in fact their generosity made a deep impression upon Columbus as he wrote in his logbook they were so ingenious and free with all they have that no one would believe it who has not seen it anything possesses if we asked to them they never say no on the contrary if you ask them for anything they will give it to you wholeheartedly okay on the contrary they invite you to share it and show as much love as their hearts went with it okay they were very pure heart pure at heart people but see what Columbus did he planted a Spanish flag on the island held a prayer service and without consulting the local authorities what he did he proclaimed himself as a viceroy this is a sad part okay gold was not immediately available they were mainly came for exploring gold okay uh, but the local people told them there was a uh, gold is available in the inner areas okay and they could go into it okay and uh, eventually uh, Columbus and all came back because of the uh, attacks from the Caribs and all and but there followed a new era of explorations to these islands now we have uh, we have seen Columbus coming there exploring the areas and they are they going back next we can see the Spain Spain established empire in America okay local chieftains were enlisted to explore new lands and hopefully more sources of gold they mainly came for gold okay to military repression and forced labor were added to the ravages of disease see uh, another important aspect that happened when the Europeans came to these continents was that these continents were not see they were not affected for a long time they had no contact with the other world so when these Europeans came they also brought them with them the smallpox other epidemics and all with them okay 
and what they did this affected the population this affected the people in the native people in the areas and they started dying and what the europeans thought it was the act of god okay now we have cortes and his soldiers coming into picture okay he conquered mexico swiftly and ruthlessly cortes set sail to cuba to mexico where he made friends with tontes uh, and we have another interesting person uh, is that see uh, spaniards he they were welcomed by the king montezuma okay because he was scared of the he was terrified of the aggressiveness of the spaniards or, or the spain people spanish people okay and he was cordially welcomed by montezuma the aztecs led the spaniards aztecs poor people they led spaniards into the heart of the city where the emperor showered them with gifts and uh, it was though the tenochtitlan it is a capital city tenochtitlan i have shown it you in the map had given shelter to a monster the people of tenochtitlan tenochtitlan actually a developed city okay it was a properly developed city it was like i'll draw it for you it was like it was surrounded by water in the middle of that uh we had the city okay connected and it was very developed it was better than spain uh, or uh, uh and it is it was larger than madrid okay all these things they were scared of the Sp- spanish people okay uh, in an attempt to formalize emperor's submission of spain cortes installed christian images in the aztec temple montezuma in his part suggested to compromise and placed both aztec and christian images in the temple okay Uh, it is like see uh, there was no respect given to the local culture or the native culture these europeans came they saw they conquered and they went back they destroyed the land uh, they used it for their own benefits it was something like that okay and uh, there is some uh, long struggle between the native people and the spaniards eventually the spaniards won because they had the help of a person called uh, dona maria dona maria was a native lady she was a person who did uh, compromise for cortes okay and we have pizarro pizarro was another uneducated person uh, and he was mainly confronting with the incas it is not that much important in the context of upsc just read through it caribbean and brazil uh, all these things are just read through it because our main idea for this chapter is that we need to know how the european started colonizing the world now another important aspect is the slave trade slave trade is coming into picture okay you need to listen uh, from the 15th century european maritime projects pro- produced knowledge of the continuous sea passages from ocean to ocean okay before most of these passages had been unknown to europeans okay south atlantic was wholly unexplored no sea going ship was entered in these waters okay now for europe discovery of america was had consequences for others besides the initial voyages okay the influx of gold and silver helped further expansion of the international trade okay uh, hundreds of ship each year carried silver from south american mines to spain it was not spain and portugal that benefited they did not did not invest this huge income in further trade or in building up a merchant navy instead it was the countries bordering the atlantic especially who the england france belgium holland that took advantage of the discoveries now we have seen they are making lot of money okay and they established colonies and introduced europeans to the product of new world tobacco potato cane sugar coal rubber all these things are introduced to the europeans okay and uh, we can see native people for the native people of the americas the immediate consequences were physical decimation of the local population they are dying the destruction of their way of life they and enslavement they were made slaves in mines and plantations and mills i have seen you before i have told you before the coming of the european how freely these people were living and as i told you the population differences estimates indicate that pre conquest mexico had a population of about between 30 to 37 million the andean region a similar number while the central america between 10 to 13 million the natives on the eve of the arrival of europeans totaled 70 million at the century at a century and a half they had reduced to 3.5 million okay 3.3.5 million the sudden destruction of the two major civilizations of the aztecs and the incas in american highlights the contrast between the two cultures in compact both the aztecs and the incas the nature warfare played a crucial role in terrorizing local inhabitants psychologically and physically 
okay spanish evidence for gold and their greed for gold and silver incomprehensible to the na natives enslavement of the population was a sharp reminder of the brutality of the encounter slavery was not a new idea but the south american uh, experience was new in that it accompanied the emerging capitalist system of production okay all these things happen and uh, although the philip ii of spain he publicly banned labor there was some uh, there was some uh, secret degree for its continuation okay and and uh, which gave full freedom for the local people christian and non christian alike european settlers were enraged and what happened they wanted the labors okay they discovered more lands were brought under cultivation and uh, and discovery of gold minings were continuing the demand for cheap labor continued it is clear that the local people would resist enslavement so they need they needed alternatives so they turned to africa okay between 1550s and 1880s over 3 lakh i mean 36 lakh african slaves were imported into brazil okay uh, it was almost half the total number of african slaves imported into the americas okay so from the early debates of 1780s on abolishing slavery because slavery was a very huge market and uh, slavery actually sustained we can say it uh, it was a backbone of european it later became the backbone of european uh, economic system so it was very hard to abolish it okay uh, that is the context of it okay epilogue in the early 19th century european settlers in the south american colonies were to rebel against spain and portugal and became independent become independent countries just as in 1776 the 13 north american colonies rebelled against britain and formed the united states of america okay now this paragraph is important south america today is also called latin america why because this is because Sp spanish portuguese two of the main languages in the continent are part of the latin family of languages the inhabitants mostly native european okay native european Uh, european african by origin most of them are catholics so spains and the spaniards and the portuguese were catholics okay their culture had many elements of native tradition mixed with the european ones a new kind of culture arose in the latin american region so i hope you people understood our today's class so um, please do see the previous videos it will help you to understand the concepts better uh, it is purely based on ncert and we are doing a gs1 series i hope today's class was productive uh, god bless you all jai hind